I started synchronized swimming when I was five years old and I made my first national team when I was 16. And I think that first summer kind of made me realize, you know, everything that I'm going to have to do to keep pushing. I was a synchronized swimmer for uh, a very long time, probably about 17 years of my life. I competed in two Olympic Games in London 2012 and in Rio in 2016, and I swam with Anita the 2015 and 2016 seasons. So that year we were paired as a duet, and then we kind of just kept swimming through the 2016 season. You think you know what you're going to expect when you get there, but it's just a totally different feeling. Like. I've competed in world championships and those are, you know, a huge international world stage, but like just the feeling, the whole energy of like just the whole country, like when we were in Rio was just insane. At the Olympics, we compete in two programs. So one is kind of like figure skating, the short and the long. We have the technical and the free. So in the technical program, there is a technical panel. So that's things like synchronization, height, things like that. And then there's an artistic panel of judges who do like musical interpretation and just kind of like the artisticness of, of the routine. And then in the free program, the elements panel gets replaced with the difficulty panel. I remember before my first day competition, I like was so, I don't know, I didn't know if I wanted to cry, if I wanted to uh, get sick, if I wanted to pass out, if I wanted to like just scream of like happiness. Like it was just so many emotions coming into one. In Rio, we ended like eighth in our one program and ninth in the other, so I think it was ninth overall which was a huge improvement from the World Championships the year before, which I think we were at 12. It takes years and years just to get close to the people ahead of you and then to pass them and then you take off from there. So for us, it was like so exciting that we could, we were hoping to move up like one or two spots, but to move up three was just amazing. But right now we're training um, seven to, uh, some days seven to two, some days seven to four. Right now we're working on choreography still a lot, so usually end our practice with um, just finishing up our new choreography for our routines. And then we have to worry about what we eat afterwards. Then also we have to keep doing school too. A lot of the girls are still in high school. Um, I'm currently taking class, college classes, so we have to do that also. It's a full day's work. It's more than a full-time job. And you know, it's like the work never ends. It's just a 24 hour cycle. So we haven't had a team for USA Qualify since um, 2008. So currently that's our huge goal. Um, actually this summer we have the World Championships and the Pan American Games. Um, the Pan American Games is where we fight to qualify. Um, so basically we have to win first place to get that continental spot. Um, so that is our huge goal of this year and what we're training really, really hard to do. I feel like this year, more than any other years, I think they actually have a shot, like a real chance, not like a by the hair, by a hair, they can maybe win or, you know, make it. Like, I actually think they have a, a real chance and I think they've got a new coach. There's so much more like momentum and positivity. Every minute, every second of every day, it's on our minds. 